Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of Awaken Geekdom here on YouTube. And today we're talking Ultimate Sky Doll Collection from Alessandro Barbucci and Barbara Canepa. So stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. And yeah. Due to overwhelming demand, uh, all of you guys wanted me to review the book. So here we are talking about Sky Doll. If you don't know what this story is about, well, let me tell you that basically it's a world, uh, sort of this um, fictional parallel universe that is on this planet that is ruled by papacies. Before the start of the story, there's two main papacies. One is agape, uh, based on the Greek word, and I probably butchered that pronunciation, and Ludovica. Agape is uh, representing spiritual love, while Ludovica is more about the carnal and sexual love. These two ideologies and philosophies sort of uh, they intertwine with each other, but at the end of the day, there is a massive falling out, and Ludovica, this power-hungry bad woman, takes control of the situation and gets rid of Agape and its followers, who are now labeled as heretics. Now, Ludovica is, in present time, ruling the galaxy, if you will, using uh, mass media and so-called miracles to impress uh, her fans and her followers and all that stuff. I say, yeah, I do the air quotes because these miracles are manufactured by a production team. So it's pretty interesting. The story, aside from being a sci-fi romance, if you will, also goes into philosophy and the ideas of mass uh, manipulation and how you commercialize uh, religion, philosophy, uh, uh, sexuality, all that stuff. All those themes get explored in this story. Now, the story itself is told, however, through the eyes of Noah, a sky doll. That's how we get the name of the book. Sky doll is basically this lifeless android who uh, doesn't have any rights. And they're usually, uh, unfortunately, they're used for more uh, carnal things, if you catch my drift. And now Noah is working for this sort of mafioso alien dude that runs either a brothel slash uh, car wash where all these sky dolls, they're hooked up to cable and they clean cars and all that stuff. And typically these dolls don't have a lot of personality to them. Unlike Noah who wants to see more and to experience life and sort of She's having these visions throughout the book and is hearing things and wants to find out more. Uh, after a series of peculiar events, she meets up with two missionaries that are out on a task to travel to a different planet and do something that I don't want to spoil yet. This event will shape the course of the whole book, but at the beginning of the story, Noah is through a series of events, like I mentioned, hooks up with these two missionaries and starts this adventure across the galaxy, meeting all sorts of uh, people, aliens, uh, creatures. It, it's a really vivid place, and the world building that the creators are doing is pretty awesome. There are a lot of concepts thrown around, but it never boxed down to where you can't really get it, or it's not too pandered to audiences. It's it's the right amount of philosophical questioning where it doesn't get too up in its own head, if you will. Uh, one of the best selling points for Skydoll is definitely the artwork. It is a thing of beauty and one of my favorite comics of recent memory, simply because of the, you know, the art. It mixes a lot of things that I like. It, it reminds me of a storyboard animation from a 70s and 80s 2D Disney and uh, animation projects, stuff like that. But it also has very manga and anime sensibilities mixed in with Euro comics and the art that you see over there. It's, it's such a curious uh, cool mashup of art styles 
to produce something really unique. I love the character design for Noah. She looks fantastic and the coloring on this book really does an amazing job of uh, just making it stand out from everything else that you're reading. The colors are so vibrant and beautiful and they're popping with personality that it's just a visual treat to read the book. You should know if you're going in for Skydoll for the first time, the story's not done. There are four main books in this uh, collection and the fifth story is not out yet, or it's not done. It ends on a cliffhanger, but I do suspect that there's it's the end game portion at the end, so maybe one more volume. There's not a whole lot of elements left to solve by the end of book four in this collection, so yeah, uh, maybe volume five or six will end the thing. Hopefully I'm raising some type of awareness so we can get that, because I started after I finished reading the book I looked online and couldn't really find a status update on the series so if anybody uh, can throw a bone and, and, and help me out is the story going to continue are they really going forward with the fifth book I haven't read anything online about it but hopefully they do because it's a pretty interesting story I like the concepts I like the idea of examining or mixing uh, philosophical terms with what would usually be a political struggle, a political story, if you will. The character of Noah, she's finding more about herself and there might be something mysterious about her with uh, special abilities and whatnot, and that is a major driving force of the whole book as her character evolves and is experiencing things and interacting with people uh, with the characters of uh, Roy and Yahoo or Yahoo I, I don't know it sounded like Yahoo like the website so I thought that was pretty funny the pacing and the overall structure of the story it's a little bit all over the place uh, the transition between books can be a little bit uh, odd at times so as you move from the first chapter to the second third and fourth especially between third and fourth there's a pretty big uh, time skip could use a little bit more fleshing out now that I'm uh, thinking about it uh, some more exposition I do know that there are other books in the franchise that go into prequel territory and they explain some of the concepts and landscapes but I think you should have done that for the main storyline instead and then you know because it, it leaves you a little bit dry when you're guessing, like, wait, this character is doing this, and they're referencing things that we haven't seen. What exactly are they? And when you do find out, it's, it's you know, it, it could have, it needed a little bit more substance, I guess, for some of its um, explanation. At the end of the day, Sky Doll is a book about many things which include the struggles of uh, ideologies and um, how you politicize ideologies and philosophies and how you turn them uh, against people commercializing things like uh, religion or in the case of the story, the miracles and how you can manipulate people doing so. But in the midst of all this, you have a protagonist who is discovering uh, who she is and why she is so special, because there's more to her than meets the eye. At the core of any good story, there has to be a fascinating character for you to gravitate towards. If you don't have that, the story can seem kind of aimless. But in the case of Skydoll, Noah is pretty interesting in my opinion. He starts out as this sky doll, a, a mechanized doll, and she possesses an uh, infinite amount of curiosity and wants to explore the world. But as she starts learning about her connection to plot elements of the book, it all forces her to mature and sort of take the lead in this story. Also, one of the aspects that I mentioned earlier about the setting, the world, the, the um, buildings and architecture, I should say, a lot of it is based on real things from history, uh, from 
I, I believe I read online that uh, Ludovica's world is inspired by the Baroque period. You also have the Aqua Planet, which is very uh, 60s and 70s groovy inspired uh, style and art with the psychedelic stuff. It, it's interesting. You also have Sudra, which is sort of an amalgam of things uh, to create like a new identity of sorts. So the book is really stylized in that regard, and I highly praise it for it. Have you guys read Sky Doll? Let me know in the comment section down below. If not, let me know what are some of your favorite futuristic comics with androids and aliens and all that stuff. Very interested in finding out. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of A Week in Geekdom. It truly does mean the world to me. Thank you so very much. Remember to hit the notification bell on this YouTube channel so you know when new videos pop up. And check out the merch store if you can. Link in the description below. I've got to go. I will catch all of you on our next episode.